So this is basically the compressor off of the Model 51 Cavalier. Now the compressor is basically a compressor unit that has a piston in it that um, sucks down. It's basically a vacuum as it's running. It creates a vacuum. This is the cooling um, condenser, which is what cools the motor so that it's not so hot. And then this is the evaporator. And what the evaporator does is it basically gets cold because of the design and the engineering of how it runs Freon through it. And it's running Freon, this is sucking, and then this gets cold. Once this gets cold, there's a fan that sucks the air off of this and gets the whole machine cold. Now you have a refrigerator. It's pretty cool how they work, but these used to hold um, R12, which is a refrigerant, uh, which is now uh, illegal by the EPA because it's bad for our ozone or environment. And there's so many refrigerators out there. And one of the big problems was everybody would just cut a line and it'd leak into the atmosphere. And now it's got, you know, we've got all kinds of issues with our environment because of that kind of stuff. Um, so what we have to do is we put it through a recycling unit and uh, basically it goes into a tank, doesn't go to the atmosphere. So that's all been done. I cut this, I recycled it in there. And there's a couple of things that I want to say about doing refrigeration, refrigeration work probably shouldn't do yourself you need to be a licensed guy because there's things you can do you can some of the old stuff especially some of the monitor top refrigerators have ammonia in them some of them had had a product like mustard gas if you've heard of that and that's the kind of thing that if you cut into one of these it's gonna it's gonna make everybody sick or death it's it's really bad so it's not the kind of thing you want to do you need to know what you're doing you got to be certified to do it um, so I'm going to show you what it entails and how, how we're, how we do it, but, uh, it's not the kind of thing that you should be doing your, on your own. Okay. So these units come in, uh, came in to the 51 and it's really rusted. It's really bad. There's no way to restore this. I shouldn't say that there's a way to restore it, but by the time we blast, uh, sandblast or whatever it takes to do it, it's going to eat into these coils and usually creates a very fine leak and you don't know it until months later and the machine isn't getting cold. So I like taking and, and putting new units in this and this. I always use the original evaporator though because that's what, was, what fits in it best and the fan fits in it and everything works. So um, right now I'm gonna cut this all up. I'm gonna take this out, keep the line and I'm gonna to toss this, and then I'm gonna put it in, put a brand new one in it that will hold uh, our uh, 134. And then I basically re-engineer everything to, to work. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. So what I've done is this was a compressor deck that you can buy. Uh, it has a unit on it that's basically a, rec a receiver. And what this is for is for a different kind of engineering on the machine. So just to make it not so technical, um, you don't need this. Because you have a, a little line like this, this is called a cap tube, capillary tube. And as far as engineering wise, this comes in three or four different sizes. And if you can look at the bottom of that, that little itty bitty 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 hole, that's what the Freon runs through, that little hole. Now there's three or four different sizes. There's a one, a two, a three. Well, there's actually a zero. There's a lot of different sizes. So what I have to do now is decide this unit here goes on the bottom. 
this unit here goes on the top of the coke machine up, up inside of it. So my only problem is, is the unit that there used to be on it, it went down the back and it hooked into it and you can sort of see, I think this was bent down. And by the time you get it down there, what, what is the length? So I've got a little bit of a problem. I need to put it in the machine itself and then figure out how long it is uh, with the suction line. And then the, uh, the capillary line, I can go ahead and engineer out. Meaning I can take, this is a third uh, horsepower compressor. How long is what size capillary tube before it goes into the evaporator? So you calculate all that out and it will come up with a, a length. You make it that length and then you just put it in. And you can see where they, what happens is this is really long. So they coil it like this and then put it in here. And then they attach it to different areas of the suction line because sometimes the suction line it gets cold and will allow it to keep that cool too. So I'm sort of at a point right now where I need to stop. But I want to tell you what I did to this unit itself. It comes in like this. You can buy it. You can buy them for six, seven hundred bucks. Uh, the receiver comes on it. I take them off. And then what I also do now, because it is a cap tube design, I put a dryer in there. And then that's where the cap tube goes in that hole right there. So now when I charge it, I'll have an area to test my high pressure, which is on this. And then this one, uh, this valve here, allows me to test my low pressure. So th this, this nut here will come off and this line will go on here. So before I do that, this is ready. Before I do that, I wanna set it in the machine and go, okay, it needs to be this big. Otherwise, I'm just sort of guessing and I don't wanna to have to redo it again. So I'm gonna, that's as far as I'm gonna to go today with this.